Hello everyone, today we're going to install Windows Server 2012 on Windows 10. So let's begin. Double click on VirtualBox. Then click on you. The machine, uh, the type, uh, we're going to keep it as Microsoft Windows. The version, uh, we're going to be working on Windows 2012. Alrighty then, there we go. I'm going to type in here, Windows, oops, sorry, Windows, who I can type today, Windows Server 2012, there you go, switched, uh, I'm going to change the machine location, uh, machine folder, we're going to go here, this PC, data drive, and this folder, select the folder, beautiful, then we're going to click next, the this is two gigs this is fine i'm gonna keep it as it is click next um, i'm gonna create a virtual hard disk all right 50 uh recommend this uh this card uh hard disk create uh it's gonna be a vdi next dynamic allocation i'm gonna keep it by I'm gonna, it, this is pretty much everything by default plain and simple 50 gig that's the location where it's being stored and create beautiful beautiful click on start all right and then we're going to do a browse and then add and this is the r2 uh 2012 server double click i'm going to be using this iso and then we're going to be then we're gonna choose, sorry, and then we're gonna start. I'm gonna mute myself at, at this section right here. Okay. Um, the language uh, will be English, time, and current uh, currency, uh, currency format, English, and the keyboard or input method, U.S. Click on next. Then we're going to be clicking install. Okay. At this moment, I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to skip this section here. I'm going to have to put the service key, uh, service key for the Windows 2012. Give me a moment. Just finished putting the service key on Windows Server 2012. And now I'm going to be choosing Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center with the GUI, not the server core. Okay. Then click Next. Alrighty then. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, accept the license term and then click next. We are not doing an upgrade, but we are doing a custom. Click on that, leave it there by default, then click next. And then it should start the process of installation. So at this moment, I'm going to fast forward this section and see you in a little bit. Okay, so that, uh, we're going to be putting the password. This has to be a complex password. You put a simple password like this one, ABC123, uh, excuse me, 123, ABC123, it will not go through. It requires to be a password com uh, complexity. So it's like a, like a password of uppercase, lowercase, 
numbers symbol. So I have one right here in my head, and this should go through because it has almost every assembled uppercase, lowercase number in it. And there you go. After that's finished, hey, we good. Let me do input, keyboard, insert, key, uh, uh, control, delete. What we're going to do here is type in the password that we just created. Oops, sorry, sorry. Type this correctly. If I can see my keyboard, God. All right, let's see. Uh, click here. All right. Beautiful. Click yes on this. All right, guys. So this is how you install Windows Server 2012. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.